Most of us have fixed incomes, but our expenses have grown a lot over the years. So saving up money in every way possible is something everyone is considering right now. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we discuss five practical money saving hacks. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and don't forget to drop a like as well. With all that done, let's discuss the money saving hacks now, shall we? Number five, coupon codes. We all shop online today and having coupon codes will help you save a lot of money when you purchase online. There are so many websites that will provide you with the right coupons that you need. You also will have some sort of cashback offers with many e-commerce platforms and while checking out your products, make sure to search for relevant coupon codes offered by the platform. If you are a student, well, then you are in luck because so many websites offer student discounts if you sign in with your school or university email address. By doing so, you will be good at managing your expenses and you could get a lot more done with your money than you could do without these coupons, so do check them out. Number 4. Getting a Beater Car Today, we have cars that are a lot safer and more advanced because they have so many electronic components. But with so many electronics, most newer cars are not as reliable and economical to maintain as they used to be before. This is why you need to buy a beater car. You could get a beater car for less than $2,000 and you don't have to worry about scratches or dents anymore. Not only are the prices low, but it is also much cheaper and easier to maintain. These cars are generally older cars, which means that you can get spare parts from scrapyards and you could probably install it all by yourself. You will also be paying very little in insurance, so these cars are much cheaper to run and will last you for quite a long time and you don't have to care much about the car. Older cars do not attract thieves, which means that nobody will steal your beater car. Number 3. Cook at home. It sounds effortless, and to some extent, it is. But the point is you can save a lot of money if you decide to cook from home. You can save a lot in delivery charges and the service charges that restaurants charge for getting your food done. You can buy essentials that do not spoil very quickly, and you can even freeze the leftover food and use it the next day. You also don't have to buy more items to cook because you can already cook what you have in your kitchen. This means you can save a lot of money. You will also have the option to have healthy food and cook your food with better ingredients. This means that you have total control over what you eat. You can also use more organic ingredients and add more vegetables and fruits along with some whole grains to make the entire food more healthy. You can also avoid processed food if you decide to cook from home you will also enjoy the process of cooking your own food. Number 2. Track your expenses If you are looking forward to saving a lot of money, you need to figure out where you spend the most money. If you're not good with credit cards, you should probably avoid them and carry cash instead. Start planning out a budget today that is more realistic so you can track down precisely what things you're spending your money on and you'll be surprised to know that you are buying a lot of stuff that was entirely unnecessary. If you are in debt, this will take a large portion of your income as well, so avoid debt at all costs. Number 1. Buying Generic Brands Most of the well-known brands actually charge a lot more than what the product is actually worth. Retail networks sell their own products and most of the time, these products are also made by these well-known brands, but they are rebranded so that these outlets can sell them. These generic brands are much cheaper because they spend very little money on marketing and they depend on word-of-mouth publicity. These generic brands are also now growing faster than major brands and they tend to provide more value with a very little marketing budget. And that's all we have for you today. Drop a like for the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Press the bell icon to get notified about our future uploads. Catch you all in the next one!